welcome to another London vlog. Here we are again. I'm so sorry about last week's video. Oh, I feel like there's so much I have to fill you in on. I've just noticed this fake tan. Please ignore that. And also, if my eyes look weird, I actually don't have any mascara on, but I've done like full makeup with no mascara. I feel like there's just so much to talk about, but this, I mean, this is so boring, but basically I have some sort of eye, it's not an infection, it's an, like an inflammation, it's not conjunctivitis, it's something else, but basically my eye, like upper eyelid, um, is it kind of a wee bit puffy, it's not hay fever, it's just like, it's something to do with, oh, I don't know if it's to do with removing mascara correctly, but anyway, so I... Google's advice is not to wear any mascara, so I've just been putting fake eyelashes on. I mean, I don't know whether that is literally, you know, the worst thing to do as well. Anyway, so that's why I've not got any makeup on in my eyes. I'm going to hopefully go to Boots and quickly just grab a set of eyelashes and stick them on. So I've just arrived in London. I'm so excited because today I am doing my first ever proper content girls afternoon tea. So I am meeting Drops and Sparkle. Anna Style Dictionary, Molly Jo and Katie as well. So we're all basically doing a little afternoon tea at the Kensington. So we are, I'm just heading off there, going to meet them now. Well, I've got about half an hour before I need to leave. Sorry, no, I need to meet, I'm rushing. I need to meet them in half an hour, so I need to leave in like five minutes. So this is what I've decided to wear. That's this little Zara cord from last year, I think it was. And I'm wearing my Drops on Sparkle necklace because I just love it that much. So welcome to London. Um, I'm so sorry about last week's video. Basically, I have had some sort of stomach bug virus. I don't really know what it was. I was really unwell actually from kind of Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, I didn't actually know if I was going to get on this train, to be honest. I have Elton John tonight, so it is a full on day. So I kind of have to just get on with it now that I'm here. I am feeling a lot better, so good to go. But I better, I better basically make some, make some tracks because I'm going to be late otherwise. Okay, so that is me almost here. So the hotel looks absolutely stunning. So we're doing a little afternoon tea. Um, I'm just trying to cross the road. The cars are looking at me. This is the hotel here. So it's the Kensington. Ah, here I go. I am so excited, but also like a little bit nervous. Like I'm just excited. I'm really bad at food stuff. Um, Here's our little afternoon tea. Okay, so I'm back from afternoon tea. I have a quick change. I've popped on the sequins for Elton. I'm about to head to Hyde Park, so I've just popped on this little, excuse my fake tan bit in the background, Zara skirt, and then this River Island disco top. So I mean, I'm going to take a wee jumper as well, but I'm basically going to head over to Hyde Park where my dad, Jack, and my brother is already. So Yes, ready to see Elton. Afternoon tea was absolutely amazing. These girls are just the sweetest souls. I had the best time. It was beautiful. The Kensington Hotel. Kensington Hotel is absolutely stunning and I loved it. So I will definitely talk a little bit more about that at some point, but I better get ready to head off. So good. And before she went on, I said, Arisa, I'll do the show instead of you. She said, no. As a tight brother. I miss the earth so much. I miss my wives. Oh my loves, I thought I would just give you an update. Oh, so what I was meaning to say yesterday before I started this vlog was that I'd been feeling a bit unwell. I can't even remember if I did say, but I had not been feeling great before. I came on this trip and it was touch and go as to whether I was going to get on the train and come. I thought it was feeling better. So came yesterday, had a really busy day and I don't know whether that just uh, kept me kind of going. But I, to be honest, I started to feel really, really sick right before we went into Elton John. Um, almost didn't go, to be honest. And then, you know, when you've got the ticket, you feel so bad. You're like, oh, it seems dramatic just not to go. So I did go. I actually felt fine when I was there. Um, and then... On, when I got home, oh my god, I'll spare you the details, but basically I was just being sick like all night. <sighs> it was miserable. Jack had gone down to the hotel bar with my dad, so I was just kind of fending for myself. And then he came back in, um, but he was useless. I was like, right, you're not being much of a nurse because he'd been at the bar. Oh my god. So today I've had to cancel my hair appointment. I'm still, Jack's gone out for breakfast. 
and I'm actually gutted. Like, Jack leaves on Monday, so we only really have today and tomorrow, and today's, like, our day for spending together. We're going to go to Notting Hill. I don't know. Don't know what to do. I can't imagine eating anything right now. This is just terrible. Like, there's nothing worse when you're in, like, a nice place. You're in, like, I mean, it's a lovely hotel room, but you're just, like, in the hotel. Ugh. This is typical. Hi again. So I have managed to get myself put together. We are going to head out, try and get to Notting Hill, because that's where I wanted us to go. To be honest, I'm not feeling 100%, but it's one of those ones I don't, I don't really know what to do with myself. I don't really want to sit in the hotel room the whole day. Look at this fake tan. I swear it's gotten worse because of the band that was around there. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this little, look at my toothbrush, it's out. It is from Retro Stage. Obviously you can tell like it has that vintage retro vibe. I love the black and pink contrast. I thought that was so cute. So we are gonna try and get some pictures in Notting Hill. And then I don't know, we'll just meander back. It's like a 30 minute walk from where we are. So I think that's quite nice actually, a leisurely walk. And see, to be honest, I'm not feeling well. I'm just gonna come back. So here we go. Hopefully the start of day, Two. Okay, so this is Portobello Road. As you can see, it is Chocolate Blocker. Okay, so we've jumped down this one and it looks a lot quieter. So I'm going to see if we can maybe get some pictures at the bottom. Okay, so we have managed to take some pictures. So we are on Elgin Crescent. I just thought I'd mention for any fellow content creators who want to come to Notting Hill, we came in on a Saturday, it's market day. So to be honest, it's probably one of the most difficult times to come and try and get pictures. But I found this Crescent to be the quieter sort of one and still has really cute pastel houses. So I would recommend the bottom of Elgin Crescent if you are looking to come to Notting Hill. So this is where we took pictures in front of just to give you an idea. And it was fairly quiet. So that's what it looks like. I'm still definitely not feeling 100%. Jack is hungry now, so I like have no appetite. So I just said, you can pick forever and I will just sit there feeling like I could maybe have like a wee lemonade or something or even just like a juice. I am quite thirsty now. So that's what we'll do now. You can see how stunning is that in the background, but yeah. Okay, so here is the Notting Hill bookshop. It is absolutely chock-a-block. Don't even think you'd get in, it's so busy. Hello angels, so this is me. I'm just about to head out for dinner and by dinner I mean like a glass of tap water or whatever I can possibly have that I might be able to stomach at the minute. Um, oh my god. I'm not going to keep going on and on about this. I don't want this to be like a really dreary vlog but do you know what? Sometimes you just have to be real and this is the real situation. Um, I've also just been speaking with my sister there about the law in America and I just wanted to say at this point if I do have any American followers, subscribers that, you know, I stand with you. I actually cannot believe that decision. It is devastating. And, you know, I was thinking about if that was to happen here in the UK, I, it, it, I actually can't wrap my head around it, to be honest. Um, so I just wanted to, to mention that as, you know, it's something way more important than me and my <laughs> upset stomach. I just, I am stunned. Um, so that is me from just now. I am hoping another good night's sleep and tomorrow will be the day that I'm kicking this to the curb um, because we have a really formal dinner tomorrow night with a group of us and I, at this rate, I'm like, I can't go. Like I cannot go and sit and have. Anyway, enough about that. I will speak to you tomorrow. So this is a very real ending to this vlog, so please excuse me, I am a disaster. I've ended up having to cut the trip short and I'm back in Glasgow because I just was not feeling well and we had a choice of what to do, so I just decided to come home. I've also worked out that I have been allergic to this mascara that I've been wearing, which is why my eyes are all red. I'm just a walking disaster, but I am back in Glasgow now, I'm feeling a bit better. So I've just, because I have time off, I'm just going to, I've been taking these days just to reset, get back on track. Um, but thank you very much for watching this vlog. It's been a bit different. <laughs> I'll hopefully be back next week. I'm going to be filming here again. So yeah, I'm so sorry about this, but I didn't want to miss another video this week. So that's why I'm just uploading it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.